Recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank my colleagues for their support of this important uh, uh, naming and uh, bill that I'm providing here to, to the House today. I rise today to speak about this great gentleman, one who fought for his community and who is so deserving of the Statesboro VA Clinic named after him, as was stated as Sergeant Major Ray Hendricks. For those of you who are not aware of the life and legacy of Ray Hendricks, I'd like to take some time here today to recognize the impact he had on so many lives in the state of Georgia and nationwide. Ray Hendricks spent his entire life serving this great country, 42 years of putting his life on the line in the U.S. Army, where he fought in the Korean War, and his service was long from over. As an active member of the American Legion, Ray continued to find ways to help his country and community, serving in several leadership posts as local, state, and national levels. While working with the American Legion, Ray handed out wheelchairs, walkers, crutches, and flags for public schools in his community. He also organized an efficient bus system in Augusta and Dublin, both located in Georgia's 12th district that would transport veterans to the Charlie Norwood VA and Carl Vinson VA to receive needed treatment. Continuing his work, Ray saw a need for a VA clinic right in his hometown of Statesboro. He worked diligently to collect 5,000 signatures from folks in his community to demonstrate the need for the VA clinic close to home. Ray then took his actions a step further by advocating for this cause to the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs right here in Washington, D.C. He was also appointed to the Veterans Service Board by three consecutive Georgia governors, Governor Roy Barnes in 2001, Governor Sonny Perdue in 2008, and Governor Nathan Deal in 2015. He served three terms on the, as board chairman and is survived by his wife, Mary, three children, ten grandchildren, and nine great-grandchildren. As a veteran, public servant, and Bullock County native for over 75 years, it is my hope that my colleagues will join me in supporting the effort to rename the VA clinic in Statesboro, Georgia, after a man who is truly deserving. Support of Georgia senators and rep representatives, as well as the Georgia Southern Student Veterans Association and many others, I cannot think of a better way, a more worthy man, to have his service to our nation and his community honored at top of the VA clinic in Statesboro, Georgia. I urge all my colleagues to join me in passing my bill, H.R. 3946, to rename the Statesboro VA the Ray Hendricks Veterans Clinic. And I yield back. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members have five